Okay, so that's the HP X360, uh, the NV, the 2020 AMD version with uh, the Ryzen 7 4700U inside. I promised you guys that I'm going to show you a couple of um, things regarding the, the pen, the HP Tilt Pen that is available uh, through the HP store and online. It comes with a couple of uh, accessories. There is a um, small kind of a cable. Is there a cable? No, I don't think there's a cable, but there is a manual and there are a few extra tips, uh, plastic tips that you can use uh, for the for the pen. Just pull, pull this out and you're gonna be able to um, uh, replace these. Uh, there's a box over here. However, when I bought this pen, it was the newest one and the fanciest one. Right now, I reckon there's a newer version available on the market. Basically, this one has got only one uh, button here. Um, the new version, it's a different shape and it's got two buttons, like an up up and down button uh, here however this one has got a additional button here at the back and it functions um, also as a kind of a remote so there are two different modes that you can um, enter using this pen and uh, apart from this being a button over here it's also a, uh, a eraser so it's like a pencil you're you're writing uh, with this end and if you make a mistake you can just cross it out uh, the new one the newer one that is available on hp website doesn't seem to have this element so i don't know if i want to buy the new one because i like this eraser function and i use it a lot this particular model is s pen hp 3 active stylus it's supposed to be a uh, a tilt pen, a tilt pen so apart from uh, having the newest uh, Windows Ink technology it's uh, pressure sensitive and also uh, tilt kind of sensitive however I do have a couple of uh, problems with this um, I'm gonna show it to you later when you just twist it a little bit you twist this part and you raise it up and there's a USB-C uh, charging port here, so uh, you can charge the pen up. Some people say that, oh, you have to charge it every day. However, no, if you use it just for a few, I don't know, minutes, a few uh, minutes every day, uh, then I reckon it lasts like a week or something. So you don't have to charge it every day if you use it. Uh, not too often so uh, okay guys let's just clean this up a little bit and fire the fire the hp nv uh, let's do a quick quick boot here okay i think it's already up and running i wanted to show you the the color shift that happens when you um, power on the device look at the screen uh, hold on let me focus a little bit okay uh, yeah look at the screen and look at the now yeah it's it's there it's apparent there was a color shift it's because the screen is not calibrated out of the box and it's got a like a greenish yellowish tint uh, to it so I calibrated mine and during every um, Windows logon you have to I mean you have to you don't have to it's it just uh, switching colors also when you install new um, AMD adrenaline drivers it also resets the color uh, setting to a stock so you have to do the calibration again okay so let's fire it up uh, Photoshop and I'm gonna show you um, some features of this of this uh, pen I didn't manage to make it work when it comes to the tilt uh, functionality I uh, know that you have to have this button pressed in so it's going to register the pressure sensitivity of um, of the pen mm, I do have a couple of brushes here I don't know let's choose this one or maybe this one and yeah it's uh, when it's close to the screen and you touch it very gently it doesn't register anything you have to 
hold it a bit more hold it a, a bit deeper I see I'm pressing very gently gently very gently and it's very tiny tiny when I press it harder 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 it goes automatically to a another uh, brush shape and size so that's that's good however it doesn't register you know every time when I when I do some some minor movements uh, it's it doesn't catch up I need to make sure it's pressed in a little bit so that you know defies the um, the whole point of of having a very tight very tight pressure sensitivity uh, see see it's it would the screen is capable of doing it I don't know if something's wrong with the pen uh, it doesn't register and sometimes it does register and sometimes when I press it very hard it changes completely so uh, the pressure sensitivity is working however I didn't find any tilt tilt option here uh, in, in Photoshop I was trying to research do some research on the internet trying to find what's what the heck is going on however I was not able to do any kind of change in in the brush when you tilt it or not tilt it when you tilt it or not tilt it only pressure sensitivity only pressure very gently gently and sometimes when you're too gentle it doesn't register at all so i think something's maybe wrong with the pen or it's not completely I don't know, maybe calibrated, maybe somebody abused it or I don't know, whatever, it fell down or something, but it's, uh, I, it's what, texture scattering, dual brush, there are no settings for any tilt, I've been in the settings in here and I can't see any, any um, uh, major settings about the tilt functionality however the palm rejection look I'm touching I'm touching the screen with my palm so uh, yeah everything's fine I can still type and draw and do some uh, minor movement as well so it's all it's all fine uh, the palm rejection works 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 quite well and it, I'm using it a lot, for example, when I'm signing some sort of documents. Uh, I don't know, let's do a... Um, so let's open a, a file. Or let's open a file, uh, for example, a JPEG. Okay, let's open this one up, for example. Yeah, it's there. So you, when you m uh, bring the tip of the pen close to the screen, it enables this kind of editing mode and you just click on the option you like and you can just write or sign a document if you don't like it or made a mistake you can easily uh, erase all the bits that you that you've done for example like so and this is also pressure sensitive here I'm typing gently 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 and hard 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 so it uh, the pressure sensitivity also works uh, here in photos so it's like a stock 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 app for for the um, for Windows um, and yeah going back to Photoshop uh, sure the eraser also works I'm sure you can uh, change the Mm, the amount of erasing, the size of the eraser, however I like this function a lot and the new pen doesn't seem to have this function so I don't know if I'm supposed to buy it or not. So for my needs, you know, if I'm just signing the document without being really really gentle, although sometimes I would really like to be gentle and I would really like to um, be able to see the pen reacting and the screen reacting to the pen being so close only just gently touching only just gently smudging it doesn't recognize see I I see that it is possible because oh yeah I see it is possible to create a tiny tiny very tiny movement but it's it's difficult not to press it that hard uh, because either you press it or it doesn't register.
So, uh, yeah, but generally it works fine. I like it. I like it a lot. You can sign things with it. I think I'm going to try the, the new version of the pen. Maybe they changed something. Maybe, I don't know, this pen is defective. I'm going to keep using it anyway. It's still got the sticker. It's still got stickers. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Um, how would you use the pen? How would you um, interact with this? By the way, this is my uh, case here. On the side, I'm going to do maybe a review on this uh, DIY case for my Ryzen uh, 7. Uh, it's a uh, quite a nice build, so maybe later in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching and yeah, see you later. Cheers.